Welcome to the F1 exhibition here in the city of Toronto. I'm being joined by producer Jonathan Linden and I need to know all about this because I am not a huge F1 um, expert, let's put it that way. <laughs> I think it's cool and I like to watch it if it's on TV, but other than that, I don't know much about it. Well, we're very happy to have you. And the F1 exhibition really tells the story of the past, present, and future of F1. So we try to cater to a lot of the core fans who are looking for a lot of detail and a lot of more recent fans who, like you, <laughs> love the love the spectacle of it but yeah. don't know all of the details. And so we, we start here by trying to explain a little bit of the history. And so even though it's an um, immersive and experiential show, mm -hmm. the beginning we need to tell some of the history so people know where it started and be able to see some of the original cars, how they look, how they, um, some of the details of how they operate. And as you move through the show, you're gonna see the more modern cars, including the most modern cars, which are entirely different than where they started. That's terrifying to me. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's uh, when we talk about the story of ev evolution and we talk about innovation, which yeah. is a, a big theme for F1, uh, I think you could tell from a, a safety perspective, if you were in one of these cars and hit a wall, you would, you would have certain challenges <laughs> that you wouldn't have in a modern car because of how uh, specific they've become in relation to all of the different safety elements. And how many rooms are there to go through in here? There's six total rooms, okay. and, and we end with a immersive theater experience that uh, we were lucky enough to work with Formula One of mining through their video archives to create a, uh, an opportunity with hologram and hologos technology and you feel like you're in the car and so uh, wow. it's a very exciting experience and so we're excited to have you and hope that uh, you're going to learn a tremendous amount about Formula One and have a great time. Well I already have and I've been here with like you for three <laughs> minutes now. Uh, we've got cars on this side, we've got one, two, three, what's the earliest date? For these race cars here. The 1955. 1955. Is the so that beginning. one is earlier than this one. See, I yes. would say that this one from 1962 looks like it's earlier because it has less detail, but I guess that makes well, sense. Well, it, the process in Formula One of the, the different teams as they innovated and as they changed, you know, there was, there was different changes over time of how they felt the aerodynamics were mm -hmm. going to work. And then obviously we end with the 1987 Ayrton Senna yeah. uh, Lotus. And Ayrton Senna is one of the legendary drivers of. Formula One, who uh, unfortunately passed away in an accident at uh, at Imola, which is one of the uh, Formula One Grand Prix. But uh, this is an extremely unique car that. Uh, nobody would have seen so close before. Oh my gosh, okay, well our tour of this space continues. We are at the Lighthouse Art Space, one Young Street in downtown Toronto for the Formula One exhibition. Stay with us, there's so much more coming up on Morning Live. Well, we're back here at the Formula One exhibition on Young Street and John, this, this car, Jonathan, is so cool. You never get to see race cars up close and personal like this. And it's really remarkable, not only to see the inside, like the engine, but the tires, they're massive. Well, it's, as you can see, as the evolution through the exhibition, you can see some of the older cars and then it moves up to the modern cars. Mm -hmm. And you can see when you see the modern cars, just how big they are and how intricate the detail, everything from the paint to the sponsorship. Yeah. And so it's amazing and it's, it's, a, it's incredibly popular in the exhibition of just people watching, lingering and particularly on this car, they've removed the back plate so you can see the engine. And so it's it's a very rare opportunity to see an F1X engine up close. For core fans, it's fascinating. Yeah. And I think even for casual fans, just the idea of how intricate it is and how it looks is, is pretty remarkable. How much would one of these cars weigh? I don't know why I want to know that, but like that is fascinating to me because I think I'm picturing it next to like my Honda Pilot. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's, it, every team, every year, they, they try to keep some of these details secret, right? Because it's a competition between the teams. Mm. But remember that cars have to move everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. at, at the end of one race, all cars move to the next spot. They all get shipped and they get on planes and they go from place to place. And so they, they're, they're very intricate machines, as you can tell. Yeah, like I feel like it's lighter than the average car because you want it to go as fast as it possibly can. Yeah, and part of the story that we're telling through the exhibition and through it with our partner at F1 is the is uh, the evolution of how things work between the um, over time how the cars became more and more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Wow, and I 
I love how the exhibition is also incredibly interactive. I mean, when you come in, you put on the headphones, and there's so much information that you could learn just on your own. Well, I think it's uh, consumers today are looking for an experience that's immersive and interactive, and we mm -hmm. wanted to definitely provide that technologically advanced. It also provides an opportunity for consumers to do the exhibition in their own way. And so yeah. you take in as much or in certain places as little as you want. Some people have specific ideas of what they want to see and everybody, mm -hmm. there's others who can be here for two hours taking in everything. Yeah, and I'm kind of one of those first people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the latter, but if you are, this is definitely the place to check out the F1 uh, exhibition. We are here at Lighthouse Art Space and it's running until September, correct? September the 15th. And All so we'd right. love to have everybody come down. Amazing, okay, we've got so much more coming up. But for now, I'm going to send things back inside the studio. Well, we've made our way to Drivers and Duel. So we're checking out some of the race car drivers in their youth, how they've kind of worked their way through the ranks to get to where they are today. Jonathan, this is such a cool section because not only do you have some uniforms, but we talk about the drivers. You've got helmets, and there's so much to learn if you're not already an F1 expert. Maybe you want to learn a little bit more, yeah. or maybe you want to know more detail. Well, I think it's always the combination of the real core fan who want a lot of detail and the more casual fan mm -hmm. who have recently come into F1 and are a little bit higher level. But, you know, we've got a, a variety of different elements that are going to feature things that people are focused on. And so this area is a little bit about how the drivers evolve into F1, the junior circuit and how they work. So it's got some of the uniforms, some wow. of the go-karts from that period, and then how they evolve. Uh, as drivers and then obviously we we move directly into the helmet wall and it's the hel so cool <laughs> the helmet wall is uh, it's very popular for a lot of consumers and, and uh, oh there we are <laughs> Lewis Hamilton has a camera in his helmet so they were lucky enough to get a Lewis Hamilton helmet where we can see ourselves directly in the camera which is always fun <laughs> That's so yeah. cool. <laughs> and with the helmet, similar to the car, as part of the story is the innovation of helmets. And when you start at the beginning and work your way along, you see how the safety elements, the detail, the sophistication evolves over time. And so, yeah. and as we said, it, a lot of consumers, even if you've been to a number of Grand Prix, even if you had really close seats, you don't get the detail. You don't get no. to sort of take in the helmets as they are. And so it's an incredibly popular display. I love the, the, the sponsorship on it, too, because that is such a huge thing when it comes to F1 racing, Yeah, right? it's interesting to see. There's some of the companies that, you know, their logos have changed over time. Mm -hmm. Some of the companies aren't in the same form as they used to be. Or, they or they're not, the yeah. Circuit, or they don't even exist, but it's... Um, incredibly excited. Wow, that's so neat. Okay, um, starting lights, launch control, rules of the race, optimum strategy. I mean, there's so much that goes into this. And I played this game a few minutes ago. Um, I do not have very good reaction, Jonathan. <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, you know, the drivers have a tremendous amount of time practicing. And so, uh, Everybody wants to try their luck to see how their reflexes are compared to a driver. So okay, so who are these drivers here that we're comparing ourselves to? Michael Schumacher and Ayrton Senna are two of the legends of the F1 circuit. And so okay, here we go. If you can, if you can compare to them, you're you're doing very well. Ah, uh, wow. That's actually not bad. Not bad. Okay. Not bad, considering. Press the button to see if you've made the. I made the top five. Considering you don't have a long history as an F1 driver, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, coming up, I am actually going to get in to an F1 car. You're not going to let me drive it, though, are you? We're going to let you drive. We're going to see. We're going to take the training wheels off and just let you drive. All right. <laughs> Make sure you stay tuned for that because that is going to be a lot of fun. The fun begins now. I'm about to get into a race car or a race car simulator and uh, see how well I do as a race car driver. Jonathan's the expert though, so you're gonna teach me the going ons of all of this. Well, what we have here is the official F1 racing simulators and we talk about being immersive and experiential and nothing's more immersive for an F1 fan than stepping directly behind the wheel. And as you get in, it looks you're, awkward. Gonna be, you're gonna be able to tell that one of the authentic elements is you're sitting like an actual F1 driver, which is at much more of a dramatic Whoa. angle than you might be 
ready for it. Woo! <laughs> In the seat, like slides. Is it supposed to slide? Is it supposed to happen? All right. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That's the weirdest experience. The pedals are so high. I feel like I'm lying down. That's the F1. That's the F1 driver experience. Wait a minute. Now there's two pedals. Yeah, right pedal is gonna be gas. Left pedal is gonna be brake. Right pedal gas. Left pedal brake. This is like totally authentic. So there's always two pedals. Oh, it knows my name. This is a problem. Okay. Press the right pedal to accelerator. Press firmly on the left pedal to slow down. Jonathan, are you an expert? Is this me? I'm gonna tell you before that it's it's challenging. It's a challenge. Racing with me, but we can compare times, although. Whoa, whoa! Oh no, I'm crashing! Wait, I'm going the wrong way! <laughs> my eight year old son would be very, sorry, my nine year old son would be very disappointed in me right now. This is not your conventional arcade game. No! It's a little, it's a little more sophisticated, oh. and a lot of people find keep, themselves in the wall very I keep quickly. spinning out! Oh. Oh, see, now I've done it. Now I'm in trouble. Um, so how did you guys, how did they create this? Is this created by F1? It's it's created uh, in partnership with F1. Okay. And some of the drivers, particularly in the pandemic, there was a lot of drivers that were using simulators because there was no other opportunity to get out there. So but during the pandemic, like real F1 race drivers were actually using this. Exactly, and, and as over time it's become more and more sophisticated, and it's it's very sensitive to the touch. And so <laughs> there's a lot of people who come through thinking it's your conventional arcade game, and they oh, find no. themselves in the wall pretty quickly. I'm like, oh, that's all I'm doing is hitting the wall. <laughs> I can't even get away from the wall. Time's up. I feel miserably. Oh, well, you're doing much better than I am, John. So um, congratulations to you. Well, yeah, I've had couple more opportunities I guess. to try it out. Well, thank you so much for having us here today. Congratulations. This is a beautiful space. It's a wonderful exhibition. And where can people get tickets if they don't want to get them at the door? F1exhibition.ca, and that's the best spot to get tickets. We're open until September the 15th, and so uh, you got to come down before then, and we can't wait to welcome everybody and uh, give them an opportunity to learn more about F1 and uh, try their chances behind the wheel. And try their hand at this. Yes. <laughs> Thanks again. Let's see if I can do it without crashing so much this time.